Hello YouTube, it's time for another update. Uh, here is uh, the white boot you look at, and it's really thriving and pushing faults like crazy. Um, the windowsill is working really great now, it's autumn, and as you can see here, I've been putting up some really bright lights to help them survive the winter and they are really liking it so they're pushing pods like crazy and here is the Trinidad no sorry seven pot primo and as you can see look at it they are there are a lot of pods and some of them are also ripening and over here we have the Trinidad Maruga caramel also a lot of big pods on this one this one is humongously big be really tasty uh, maybe you guys are like me it's getting really cold outside and the autumn is here for real it's darker and colder and I thought I have to save some of my pl plants that were outside to so I brought them in and all was fine for about a week or two until the bastards arrived, which are down here. Uh, this is aesthetically ugly, I agree, but the fungus gnats has arrived, and um, I will never bring anything inside again without treating the plants or having them in a quarantine or something like that. This is a a, a cat feeding bowl <laughs> which is yellow uh, which supposedly the fungus gnats are attracted to the color so I'm going to get go through how I am trying to beat these uh, flying critters uh, in all possible ways so the first thing here is um, a yellow bowl or you can use anything yellow uh, which can contain a liquid which I have put um, vinegar and water the same amount and, and a drop of uh, dish soap to uh, yeah so they drown uh, also you can see that I put out a sticky trap which have caught some of these and uh, the windowsill is pretty much uh, it's not that bad but uh, I will show the kitchen later uh, so, the thing with fungus gnats is that uh, the, the, the grown-ups, which you can see flying around, are just a small part of the problem. Because the gnats are putting eggs in the soil, and it takes a couple of weeks for the eggs to get to a larva stage, and then are starting to feed on the roots. So, that's why I got tricked by by the first two weeks th that I th thought everything was fine and dandy then now we have a serious problem here also a really ugly thing but a pretty effective thing is uh, was another sticker trap which you can hang from the window in the window I also have one here and also a sticker trap in the soil you can see how many uh, I think I've caught a lot at least 500 of these uh, bastards I, I, I know I only uh, preventing and killing the grown-ups to prevent them to put some more eggs in the soil, but I ordered a, a mixture or, or micro, I don't know what you call it, but uh, nematodes, I think they're called, which, which we can put in the water and then water the plants in the soil and uh, nematodes will feed on the larva. Uh, here's the Thai bird, still flowering and I think the Anuum, or what the Latin name, uh, are less affected by the fungus gnats. Uh, it doesn't look that bad and kind of pushing fruit and s stuff like that. But I, I also put a sticky trap down here. Today I changed it and it I don't think they like this plant very much. 
and as you can see I have also put a uh, lot of le leka rocks or some kind of uh, barrier for the fungus nest to have a harder time to reach the soil uh, and don't, I haven't watered these in a, in a couple of days I need to dry it out so the larva will die and I will only water when I get the nematodes so hopefully they will not droop and die on me while I wait also here you have the Kiliculi which also is a uh, capsicum anuum also looks healthy though I have put two of the traps down here and already I have caught two of them uh, but it's not that bad the Shinens plants is a completely uh, different story. They are, these are really attacked. You can see this reaper here. Um, it's really hurting. And it's my best reaper, of course. It's almost always the best plants that gets it. And I, I really, I have put two sticky traps down here also freshly today they were like 100 150 fungus nets on the old ones and luckily these trip uh, traps are really cheap like uh, two bucks or something like for 10 of them um, also in the kitchen you can see i, I built a new rig for uh, for the overwintering the plan is to have two zones one for the big plants in the back here and this, uh, for this side of the table will be for new sprouts and stuff and I will also have a new light fixture which will go down and the back will be higher for the overwintering. Uh, here I also have the sticky traps and you can see I caught some. I caught a fair, a fair amount so note to self and all you guys out there <laughs> don't bring the plants in without treating them i will uh, post an update in a couple of weeks uh, a shout out to pepper lovers love you guys and girls so really nice and active um, community on g plus uh, if you have uh, some kind of uh, super way to kill fungus gnats please let me know I only got these tricks for for now put some barrier up so the fun the grown-ups can't get down there really easily uh, sticky traps all kinds of them I got one in the back and uh, to use nematodes or some kind of bacteria to water it down so the larva will die but if you have uh, other tricks Please comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Uh, I have a seed pack that I will send to three people uh, at the end of the month. Yep, this is me signing out. Have a nice day.